have to take a swing okay. for Gallows Creek. Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course. Ah, okay. Guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Cool. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for <laughs> Teddy Gallows? No, no. Yeah, sure. She, she wants to swing at him. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Okay. Uh, well, I thought we were actually gonna get to play a Welcome song, but let's find out who this is. With me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Leslie's Stop. not here. Another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just Maurice, you're in trouble. On with Sheriff Matthews. <sighs> Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh, I, I didn't get to pick it. What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. Motherfucker, we're on the air. How is that anonymous? We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. No shit, yeah, Sherlock. There's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. Okay. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Maurice! Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. Wow. When Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered. Oh! You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal. It's just a prank, man. bro. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. How do you know? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. Got security cameras all around the building. Okay, very good. Watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Nice, all right. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to. The hell was that noise? That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Oh? Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. The no, killer then the killer's gonna want to come to us. That's a bad idea. By Murray's time. That That's a work. bad idea. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you. You know, the son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Maurice, that's coming later. Trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? I do. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus. A plan of the entire office floor. All Let me guess. While the killer is en route. They have that God. somewhere in this building. Thank God, I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? No, he's dead. Mr. Russell, straight up dead. Right second two. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. He fucking faxed it over to us. 
Is the fax machine in here? Oh. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. We're going. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Fax machine. Oh, this must got be it. it. Okay. Put that right there. Ooh, archives, kitchen, cubicles, immediate right of kitchen, editor's office, secret archives connected to editor's office. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Okay. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah. <laughs> Can you send lesson. it again? Good. It didn't come I through. I knew you could at least manage Oh, that. fuck you. I okay, suddenly okay. lost the paper. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Okay. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Uh. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Um. Call the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Uh. No, he's gonna be spotted. Um. God, how can I? You're moving to the archives. The archives? That's just across from the kitchen. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? Uh. uh so I mean, he's like this. right here. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! On uh, second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy, we're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. I mean, but I'm thinking kitchen and then archives. Again. Where do you want me to call? We're gonna, we're gonna chance it. I mean, because if he walks that way, yeah. Kitchen, because he'd have to walk... Zero two. Got it. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do ready. that. All right, Nash. I'm not gonna second guess myself. Where do I need to? You're moving to the archives. The archives? That's just across from the kitchen. I would have hoped you would have been like, you just told me to do that, then change your mind. I'm sure. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Okay. There's the whistling. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to the kitchen. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you? It's your producer I'll be crediting. What? If I make it through this. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Okay, smart man. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Ooh. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. Yeah, so what he's like mean? right next to I it. I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh, oh! oh. Call incoming. You ready? Do it! Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth, I He made it. it! He came out of the kitchen almost as soon as he entered. Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the kitchen. 
He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check the security cameras to see where he went. Okay. Looks like he's heading towards the cubicles. Okay. So he's going back down the hall. Tasks to keep him busy for a little while. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. I mean, what about the secret archives? I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Ooh. Maybe. But the damn fire regulation. Okay. Every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. But what Maybe about get out the secret the archive? Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. It's secret. It. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love All right. that. Perfect. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets Spicy. about outer space? Now's not the time. I, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The I can just time. envision Maurice There's as being no like a really old, grouchy oh, man outside. who's like all scruffy he and shit. Break out. If we can get him in there and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. Fair enough. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Um... Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course! I turn We still up, have to get him there, in, though. And I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret office. Okay, he's gonna be Are there no use himself as bait. Your offices? I don't have one in my office, but what is it? Our sports reporter Hopkins. He Hopkins. has a little portable radio. He never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is okay. this portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work. Should be here in the archives. Actually, oh, nice. All right. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked So we lucked out place. on on the archives. He hadn't found it yet. Let's congratulate ourselves later. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, I knew that. He almost turned I it on. Just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works. If I make it out alive, more pizza. Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. I'm the one doing wait. all the stressful. Oh, oh wait, what, 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 what? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! Hmm. We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Eh, oh yeah, there you go. That, then... yeah. Like, I like how everything we're coming up with is slowly gonna be drawing the killer to coming here. That's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Uh... Uh, 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 Hit the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. Damn it. <laughs> the panic Jesus set in. Christ. <laughs> I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Holy now, shit. I just need Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay, um... So 
So he's at cubicles now. He's not going to do kitchen again. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero. Boardroom, he goes there. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make We're going to chance call. it. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Okay, so he's going. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Perfect. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Um. I'll call I'll the. Just call All right. The whistling man a jackass. That'll get. Oh wait, no, no, plan, that's right? gonna get him to come. <laughs> sure Son is. of a. Ooh, no. Here we go. That's a bad idea. I just realized how bad of idea that was. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself. Yeah, the killer's going in there. That's where the killer I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Uh. Hide in I the think cabinet. the cabinet's gonna be the All best right. play. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Start playing music now. Okay. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Jackass! You something special, huh? <laughs> Well, guess what, pal? You He's gonna come kill me. Damn it. That's such a bad idea. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And. Like, I've gotta say, this dead. is an amazing play on just. Damn it's such a simple. Hell, oh. We just locked up. The whistling man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! We did it! I can't believe that actually worked! Come on, Maurice, was there ever any doubt? Thank eh, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. Drink alcohol, uh, get I away from the building. I waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Laters, bro. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. No! Bad joke. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. The Glam Jam. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. Not cool. Me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Well, what All do you right. want to know? Shoot, what do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy, that, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, Forrest. all right. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. 
That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Like this feel, this is this is just way too the questions. You were like I'm problem solved. We can now. stop now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck and well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Okay. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh Peg. shit. All right. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Okay. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Oh, okay. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? No! Mm, sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K-Fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. <sighs> Understood. I'm on it now. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay, cool. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. I'm not getting in there tonight. All right. Okay, so pretty much confirmed that Oh, a tape. Play me on Play air. Me on air. Quickly feeling less and less secure in this building. Like, we really need locks on, on shit. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out I just there? put the tape in yeah. and just press play. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Okay. Pay for line. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh. Oh, we have his attention now. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Hello! Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why. Only I moments ago. Door with the pillar locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Maybe it's Give just a, a prank? Call if you need help. You can get us on 911. I like that on 911. Okay. Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream with The, the Scream. Ash. Shut up and listen to me. Mr. Russell? What's, what's, what's wrong? wrong? Are you okay? I said listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. Damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damned if I know, Nash. Mr. Russell, where are you now? How does he what know? Happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and, well... There was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. Oh, they thought they could take him. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Fair enough. 
Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Ah, damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The then how did he get out? Still locked. How the hell did he get out? That's my question. Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? He cut somebody's throat. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. I should do the and same I thing. You and everyone listening do the same. We probably really should. Spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's Can't blame not him. A demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? We leave. It's only been an hour and four minutes. It. How? How is it only 104 a.m.? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful. Tip. This is like Five Nights at Freddy's all over the again. The store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. All right, we'll play that. We're going to introduce the Enjoy song. this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. The Word. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Okay. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Okay, so I got to remember to... Play me ASAP off air. We're gonna close the door again because safety. Put the tape there. We'll put that one there. Put that in there. Or try your call again. Oh, wait, 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 stop. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know, it was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP, off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Okay. Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Okay. He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Or try your call again. Ugh. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? Nope. This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you've never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. Okay. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? No, oh, I'm not alright. Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next uh... is much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? I don't have his music! Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is I've got to go find it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Is it? Oh, uh, no, it should be a vinyl. Reception. Man, I can't. 
Oh, so I'm gonna go downstairs where the killer was well, earlier? If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication. That's a bad Folks idea. K fam aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. All right, all right. Oh, am I not gonna respond to her now? Okay, like, I really feel that there's gonna be some scary shit down here. Okay, scanning. It looks okay, it looks safe. Gotta play it this way again. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I know there's important shit and, like, killers about, but this. Yes. Oh, yes. Alright. Okay. Ooh, I can't take the scissors. Rip. Um... I don't know why, but this feels like that could be important. Uh, ticket? Okay. Oh, final this breath. It. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Okay. Can I get anything else? Oh, pictures of cats. Tiny little, tiny little umbrella. Dude, I haven't seen those in so long. I need a key to get in there. Okay. I'm watching you. I mean, since the door is closed on their own anyway, so we'll just... We got it! Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Bam! Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Let's go. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. All right, we stopped that. Good evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand He gets the scream part so good. Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. All right. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. All right, okay. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. <laughs> All happy right. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's a bad idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. On your I son's birthday. On your son's you birthday. Oh, no. Freaking idiot. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become... Our hometown hero. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> hit him with the... Hit him with the thing. Uh, we'll put that. 
the world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. There we go. Is back. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jelly, well, Jam, all right. Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Train. We got what lady crawling, fuck? balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. That sounds amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds amazing. Holy shit, he's not done yet. Amazing maze maze. Be and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous Gord Measure Off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored okay. by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why. What it's happened at famous. the last festival? The around here for us. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's nice. Let's see what our next caller would choose. We got a caller. You know what to do. I got this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Hello? Who is this? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Colin. Who is this? Pay. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times? Uh, we're like 50-50. Sure. Okay. Okay. I would not have I'm taken sure you. as a good answer. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Virginia Sullivan. Sullivan. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. Doc's Pharmacy? Okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me we're where here. you are right now. What's your address? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Uh, can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me. Oh, God. So you want to call a neighbor, a neighbor call to hopefully help? have them no. be your meat shield? Everyone's away tonight. Oh, you're fucked There's then. just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Lady, go oh, get the God. fuck over there, Virginia, then. What's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think Frat house, frat house, frat house. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Try to remember! Well, Virginia, try to remember. Well, oh, folks, she's gonna die. Seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Um. Yeah, we'll just play that. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Okay. Uh, well, oh, the Jazz Studio. There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. Ponty's Pizza. It, okay, so you got Ponty's Pizza. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, 
Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. Okay. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time. Takeout then. client That's privilege. Scary. That is, oh my god. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. All Thanks, safe then. in your locked up room where no killers can get god, you. Where to start? Okay. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? The barbecue Maybe place? The food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna look for something <sighs> about look food. Around. Chili cook off champion. Why can't. Alright, well, let's just. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Alright. Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's hold on to that for now. Okay. Uh nothing there for me. Oh, this isn't ominous at all. I don't like this. This is even worse. Oh shit, they got an arcade machine here? Oh, there's a radio here. Am I gonna have Oh, I'm gonna have to Oh my god, alright. Ah, out of order. Okay, um, yeah, all right, so I'm guessing I'm, I might need to turn on the radio to try to lure the killer around and shit. Oh, dude, they got a lot of these toys around everywhere. All right, okay, I need to stop being distracted. Nothing in there. Close. We're looking for a menu. Menu, menu, menu. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Oh, oh, Ponty's Pizza. He made me give him like a free ad. We can probably have him deliver pizza close to where a killer's at, right? Okay. Um. Okay. Frat house. For, oh, that's right. Frat house free beer. Hey, find anything useful? Uh. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes. Let's make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. All right. We're gonna stop okay, the music. Forest, what'll it be? Ponty's Pizza. Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the Wait, line. Wait, one free beer for every point that Gallows High wins by it? Ponty's really? Pizza. May I take your order? How many? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Uh, slow roast oh, pizza. Man. I got a frat to feed, so give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. You sure? I'm sure. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Fucking three hours for it. a pizza? And yeah, we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. I like how he's not the suspicious at all. KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. It's getting freaking more free advertising. Motherfucker, you already and did that. Now we wait. Okay. We should put a song on. 
Agreed. All right, let's take a. Goes out to our delivery workers. Another song. There we go. 